This is a demonstration of the installation of the lockpick. We're in a 2008 caliber. This is a demonstration of the lockpick. We're in a 2008 caliper. This one is a manual transmission. Also works fine, of course, in the automatic transmission and in any other case where this radio is applicable to. The interface will just plug and plug and ready to go. Go ahead and demonstrate the function of this. Go ahead and put it in reverse. We put a rear view camera onto this vehicle. So now whenever it's placed in reverse, we're getting an automatic rear view. This is something that's not available in this vehicle unless you have the lockpick installed. Take it out of reverse. It's automatic. It's going to switch back to the regular picture. Also, at any time I want to, I can go ahead and uh, press the uh, double press the power button on it. And I can bring up that rear view camera at any time I want to. So I can be listening to different modes and stuff or listening to the radio. If I needed for some reason to see the rear view behind me, I could double press the power button to turn it on and to turn it back off again. Now we're going to switch over to the uh, VES mode. This is a mode created by the lockpick. And to this, we're going to connect uh, an iPhone or an iPod, wherever you guys are going to play video to it. Could be a DVD player or anything else that you want to bring a multimedia source into. Okay, and with that, we'll have the sound playing. And also, we'll have the picture. And I'll double press the power button to demonstrate that. So now we have full multimedia with picture and sound available with just the press of a button. Also included, also included, of course, is the navigation override. So if you're going to put in addresses, this will automatically allow you a way to do it. Just put it in nav and double press the power button again. That'll open it up let you put in addresses. That's demonstrated in other videos that are on here. Also, of course, instead of placing uh, an iPod or DVD player in the second input here that we're doing with this, we could have put a front camera on it and the unit includes uh, two power controls, one for a front, one for a rear camera, or for a baby camera, or for your DVD player, whatever you want it to be. And it'll automatically switch those back and forth between whichever one you want to display on the screen. So say you could put a front camera on this and a back camera, or you could have a back camera and uh, a baby camera, or say you could have the full multimedia as we're showing you here, which is a rear camera, plus also the uh, iPod or a DVD or whatever else you want to use for your multimedia source.